Now, the New Orleans Inspector General's Office releases a scathing report about the former director of the New Orleans Juvenile Jail. The director, Keyshawn Webster, resigned after several inmates escaped in January, but the new report reveals more trouble behind the scenes. WGNO's Brittany Dixon is at the Juvenile Justice Intervention Center, the Juvenile Jail in Gentilly. Brittany. Yeah, Kurt, Susie, the report really boils down to two things. Webster did not show up to work and he misused limited city funding. In a statement late this afternoon, his attorney tells us he sought advice from the mayor's office and city attorney's office before any of the allegations made in the report. But the inspector general says there's just no evidence to support those claims. Those records indicate that Dr. Webster logged into the facility about 13 times in a 12 month period. Those numbers not surprising to many. Employees cited in the report saying it was rare to see Webster at work. One even quoted as saying he was gone more than you saw him. But his lack of attendance seemed to be less alarming than what happened when Webster was there. Webster instructed personnel at the JJIC to utilize um, JJIC time and equipment to transport his dog from his residence to the facility. He then instructed personnel to transport his dog to the veterinarian when the dog was in need of medical attention. According to the report, the 12 year old dog Lacey was left in a classroom at JJIC where her medical condition continued to worsen. The employees watching her say she had eczema, bladder issues, and lacked years of proper flea or heartworm treatment. He apparently instructed his personnel to submit the bill for the canine services to the JJIC. That's because during the investigation, Webster claimed he donated Lacey to the facility as a service dog, though no paperwork ever proved that. Other misuse of funds detailed in the report include $11,000 to soundproof his office, allegedly so he could not be heard yelling at employees. The behavioral standards for all city employees are simply employees must do their job. And when they fail to do that job, it constitutes a neglect of duty. The statement from Webster's attorney continues to say he did his job correctly despite the quote false claims made in the report. A copy of the report has been given to the district attorney's office so they can determine if any further action will be taken. Guys. All right. Thank you, Brittany.